In this video, Laura is going to show you how to prepare for the week ahead by uh, broiling vegetables, making brown rice, and parboiling leafy greens. These processes uh, can be run together, as you see in this chart, in parallel. Laura's going to make it look easy, and in fact it was pretty easy using her techniques. So here are our ingredients, healthy vegetables and leafy greens. We're going to take some tools, ordinary tools from the kitchen. Make sure you have a very sharp knife, sharpen it ahead of time, it doesn't take long with a good steel, and that you have a good peeler, high quality. Now here's Laura. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the oven to 450 degrees. and place the sheet pan in the oven to heat up at the same time as the oven is heating. That's going to be for the roast vegetables. Now we're going to fill a large pot with water for boiling our leafy vegetables and uh, we'll also prepare some rice. Laura will show you that. Putting a cup and a half of brown rice in a small pot and I'm going to cover the rice by with water by about an inch. The oven preheating for the roast vegetables, water boiling for the greens, and the rice starting to simmer. So all three items are already going. Prep the vegetables, cut up vegetables for the roast vegetables. Uh, be sure you've got a nice sharp knife and, uh, and, a, and a good vegetable peeler. Brussels sprouts don't need to be chopped, just rinsed and cut. Laura is going to demonstrate that. The, the little Brussels sprouts, but I'm going to leave them whole. Just rinsing them off in the bowl of water. So now Laura is going to peel the vegetables, other vegetables, and chop them up. She'll get them ready for seasoning. So they're all pretty much the same size. Every piece is about the same size. Depend, no matter what the vegetable is. So all about the size of one of the Brussels sprouts. And uh, I just heard the oven beep came up to temperature, so I'm ready to season these and get them in the oven. So how do you figure out how much salt to put? Uh, I put about, I put, a, that was about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and just a good grinding of pepper enough oil to coat everything nicely, just get hands in there, toss it around. I haven't oiled the pan at all, so this is the only oil, so this needs to have a healthy amount of oil. All right, we're ready to put them in the oven. The oven's up to 450. Remember, we put the pan in to heat up ahead of time, so the pan's also 450 degrees, so be very careful. I'm going to put my cut up and season the oil vegetables on here at sizzle. Only want, be sure that's just one layer thick. If you crowd the pan, they won't roast. No, they won't brown nicely. And close it up. And I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. Okay, when the rice comes to a boil, I want to turn it down to low without opening it up and just let it simmer. And that's going to be about half an hour. Now Laura is going to demonstrate some techniques for working with kale and cabbage to cut them up more effectively. Okay. For prepping the kale, you don't even have to use a knife. You don't, the stalk is, is woody, you don't want to eat that, but you just tear the leaves right off, tear the leaves right off the stalk. stalk. Get rid of the stalk. Got the stems removed, you stack up the collard leaves. I've got about four leaves here, four or five leaves. Roll them up, looks like a giant green cigar. And then you can just slice them all together and you end up with strips. And I'm gonna put those in the salad spinner with the kale. So now we can take our chopped cabbage, rinse it out thoroughly in the colander add some seasoning to the pot, dump our greens in, and be ready to move on to the next step. The greens are in the pot blanching, just coming to a boil. I'm gonna put ice and water back in the salad spinner to chill the greens as soon as they're done. The greens have been cooking for three or four minutes. They're soft, they're still a nice bright green. 
Uh, this is just a pre-cooking. We'll, we'll cook them some other way during later in the week. Um, I'm just using my scoop, pull them out of the boiling water and into the ice water in the salad spinner. As soon as they're cool to the touch, I'm going to drain them and spin them. So now we're ready to spin everything out and place it in our container for the next step. So all these greens that would have taken up all the space in your refrigerator, once they're blanched and spun dry, and can, are much smaller and take up much less room in your refrigerator. Plus, rather than having to clean and cut and cook them on a weeknight, you can just reach in here and do a quick saute or throw them into something and you're ready to go. Okay, the vegetables have been in the oven for about a total of about 20 minutes and they're nice and brown and fork tender. I'm going to pull them out, turn off the oven, and just let them cool before I package them up and put them in the refrigerator for, for use as a side or as an ingredient in another dish later in the week. So 55 minutes after starting, we've got a tray of nicely browned vegetables, a pot of a cup and a half of cooked brown rice, and a whole and a bunch of greens all cooked down and packaged ready to, to put away. The only thing left to do at this point is wait for the rice and the vegetables to cool enough to put them in a container and put them in the refrigerator. And then we're set for meals later in the week. And 55 minutes. And made ahead, the cooked brown rice, roasted vegetables, and blanched greens, you're ready to either use these things as sides or base for a meal throughout the week, or I'll show you next time how we can actually recombine these with some additional ingredients to make three different meals. So in an hour, including cleanup time, um, we've got all these things ready, small, compact, that's right in your refrigerator, and uh, the greens can be sautéed in some olive oil and garlic and you're ready to eat them. The roast vegetables can be eaten just as they are, put on a salad. Uh, roasting vegetables makes them nice and sweet and uh, everybody loves them cooked this way. And then rice that you can use as a base for a meal or as an ingredient in, in another dish. Well, thanks for visiting. You can click here to visit Laura's site. And um, you can also go to the beginning if you want to recap the overall process.